Hello boys, I'm excited to show you the new Logic Pro 10.5. I'm discovering it with you in this moment because I for the first uh, time try to to control the new uh, live loop feature, great feature, with this guy an Ableton Launchpad Mini and uh, some news here, some surprises because the first uh, time you notice is you have, sorry for the phone, to flip it to control this one and I'm uh, searching to understand uh, is uh, it's working step by step today i'm focusing on this uh, guy uh, if you press uh, what have you press the eight i discovered you enter in uh, a user mixer mode very interesting <laughs> because uh, this uh, um, probably in a, a similar way uh, to Ableton Live allows you to, to control this part of the DAW. It's called a mix, but uh, you, you are contro uh, controlling uh, each, uh, each track, each channel strip. So it's a bit tricky it's not so so intuitive for the first time you get here i don't know if you can see it yes in this red more lightning the selected row here and if you press this you toggle the recording this one the yellow one controls the solo and the next one this what the muting of the track okay so the order the order is different and the tricky thing i i notices i noticed it is um, are the, the other buttons here. What's the meaning of this? First first of all, I yet did understand the meaning of this. The the one, two, three, fourth. I, I don't know. I I'm I keep trying, I I'll take some time to study it. But this and this, guess what? Are linked or are referring to the output level of the of uh, the bus one and bus two i'm pressing them and as you see they are now let's see normalized or the value has changed to default so this and this this one is panning so if there isn't any panning it's uh, switched off but but if you turn this notice it's lightning up and down very cool eh? very cool it's better than doubleton yeah and the last one is the volume so if you change the volume you will change the corresponding output lightning and if you press it okay so uh, to recap we are in mixer mode we will um, see at the others um, functioning methods uh, the first thing I noticed is uh, you have to rotate of 19 degrees 90 degrees the, the device because the columns are corresponding to 
the columns of uh, the DAO of uh, live loops only if you rotate. Um, you can find uh, um, something uh, more detailed here on control surface setup. I'm studying this part, this guy. As you notice, as you told you, the device is flipped with respect to, to the usage of Ableton Live. In Ableton Live, you have this, and this Novation Launchpad was used mainly uh, with Ableton Live. Very interesting. I didn't figure out to, to make uh, these other guys for now. Is mapped, is uh, autom automatically uh, recognized at the start. But I, I hope I'll uh, figure out. Uh, yes, for now I will stop uh, the video here because uh, it, took, it took me some time to figure out uh, how the mixing uh, uh, worked, but it's very cool. Bye!